welcome everybody back to the channel. This is Derek from North Plus Guns. Full disclosure, the scope that we're reviewing today was sent out to the channel for review, test, and evaluation. So it is a the Element Knight Titan 525 by 56 the scope you see on my 300 PRC sitting here on the hood of my truck. Yes, a little dirty. We did went out and did some off-roading because all the ranges are closed right now. But the footage that you're going to see from the range was shot before the wildfire started. So I will say there's goods and bads about the scope and what I and I will tell you guys what I like about it and what I don't like about it. What I like about it, it's a 34 millimeter tube. Another thing I like about it is 26 and a half to 27 mils of adjustment. The reticle in it is really nice. It goes up to 20 mils on the reticle on low power. So you have a very usable reticle with very usable turrets. I'm gonna get into what the turrets sound like. You guys are gonna see how they move and act and everything else. Now I do have the zero stop on this scope because I do have the scope set up for on my competition long range rifle. And I have been using this scope to at local competitions. So I'm not just doing the review for the sake of doing it. I'm also doing the review because I like this product. This product is a good value for around seven, eight hundred dollar price range. It's a very affordable scope for somebody who wants a lot of high end features, but for a low budget price. So this scope does come with a few accessories with it that it's nice to have when you're out budget, when you're out shopping for a scope. This scope falls in the same line as the Vortex Drake Eagle. More money than the Arkin SH4 Gen 2, but to me this is better quality from what I've seen and what I've used. Now, it does come with a built-in throw lever, a sunshade, and the turrets. Turrets are really nice. They're very audible. They're very, they're very tactile. They are right on when it comes to the measurement for the scope. The zero stop system in it is very nice. And what's really nice about these turrets is they're turn off. So as you can see here, this black ring, this is your zero stop. It goes up here against this little system here and it works nicely. Now you can set this up with having it go back past uh, five mils down from your zero. Now on my rifle, I do have it zeroed at 500 yards. So this is how I was able to shoot out to 2100 as you're gonna see in the clips here soon. All the turrets are nicely laser etched, really aggressive um, uh, knob for them. Uh, I'm not gonna say I don't like it, but I do. It's nice, especially when you're in a hurry and you need to get to where you need to be. Make sure you, everything goes back to zero nicely. Like I said, the tool is designed the only thing you need a tool for is a little Allen wrench, which is actually included. So this go has a really nice throw lever on it. It goes from five to 25. Now this does throw in the opposite direction of my other competition scope I have. So I had to get used to that. It's got a really nice fast focus eyepiece. So it does very, very solid, does not move. I really like that system. Now the reticle, I have the mill reticle and it's called the dirty reticle. So it's a Christmas tree style reticle and you can measure out to 20 mils on it. Very nice if you're going to shoot those long ranges and where you bottom out your turrets. Like me, I have 24 and a half mils of usable adjustment because I'm running a 20 MOA scope base on a 20 MOA scope mount. So it gives me 40 MOA built back into the scope on a 100 MOA scope, it floats I'm floating on about three mils. So that's roughly right around nine to 10 MOA. Five, six years ago, you weren't getting a 34 tube mil scope for $700. You were in up ranges of 2000 plus. So I'm, it's nice to see a company come out with a 34 mil scope that is affordable, that people can own and people can use. Now, what I'm gonna admit is a lot of good things in the future. They've come out with the Helix, second focal plane, the Helix first focal plane, which we'll probably have here later down um, in the year on the channel. Probably put the, if we get the Helix, we're probably gonna put it on our 308 project. Now, this scope does not move. I've gone over bumps, dirt roads, um, everything while this thing is in my hard case, no problem. Even with the Anarchy Outdoor, 
uh, throw, throw lever or bolt lever, I should say, um, it clears it without a problem. This is removable, so if you don't want it, it comes with a screw, you put it in there. I actually personally like it and prefer it. So let's go back up to the top. I want to give you guys a more, few more features and tell you guys some more about this scope. So what I also forgot to mention, guys, it comes with lens covers. So kind of a nice feature to have if you don't want to go out and buy any expensive lens covers. Now, this is another Titan. Um, this one is a broken Titan. I kind of, this one broke, it had manufacturer's defect, but that's fine. I'm, nothing bad I'm gonna say about this company. It happens with any scope company out there, and it happened to me. They were nice enough to send me out another one for the channel, and you know something, I have a lot of respect for a company that does that. And the weight on this really isn't that bad. You're probably sitting at about 34 to 36 ounces, which is about your average weight for a 34 millimeter tube scope. And like I said before, it's the measurements on it is precise. I mean, the, the turrets are, aren't gonna move if you bust them, bludge them, or anything else. I mean, tactile. Now, when we took the one out here, on the rifle not one I heard a ping. intact you can see it move <laughs> not two intact first round holy <laughs> three well four shooters I see it just wiggling. Just yep, it's wiggling there. down there. Is it? I didn't know Second. if it, it's all within the day. Shot 2,100 yards, confirmed hits on steel. That says a lot for a scope that is sitting at the seven dollars $800 price range. Um, I really haven't seen too many scopes that will hit, let you get out that far. And on top of that, this is ED glass, high definite uh, HD glass on top of it. We did it with the sunshade on. We I took the lens covers off of it um, when we were out there. But I mean, guys, for your for your money, this is not a bad scope. I've had people ask me what do they recommend for the seven hundred dollar range. I'm gonna say this. So far, um, this is one of. Probably my top five scopes I've had under a thousand dollars that I'm gonna recommend. So, guys, the Element Titan, 525 by 56. You're not gonna go wrong with this scope for the price nor for the money. So, thanks guys for watching. Click the like button down below. Click the other one if you'd like. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.